Now that's what Rodimus Prime should have used to light our darkest hour. Would have made more sense. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Jewelger DX Duo The Light. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Duo The Light, and right there we have Duo The World. On the top of the box, we have the three forms of Duo The World, the crocodile, the rhino, the wolf. On this side, we have the crocodile, rhino, wolf. On this side, we have Jewel the World with his flashlight, because I'm sure he would like to be able to see in the dark, just like anybody else, you know? Just saying. On the bottom here, again, we have his three forms, Crocodile, Rhino, Wolf. On the back of the box, we have our obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other, all that cool stuff. And, of course, you get Sun Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have Juo the Light. Now, this is the uh, transformation device, the henchin device, the changer, the morpher, whatever you want to call it, of the sixth member of the Juogers, Juo the World. And as you can see, it is a, uh, it's a flashlight. Yeah. It's a flashlight. He transforms with a flashlight. A for creativity. You gots to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to. <laughs> but before we get to the flashlight itself, let's take a look at the included minifigure. Like, uh, now, uh, much like the uh, Duo Changer that came with the five little minifigs of the Jodgers, with Duo the Light, you get this little minifig of Duo the World, and he's all cast in black plastic. Uh, no articulation, it's just a solid piece. Um, not painted in any way, but all of the detail that is supposed to be there is there, as you can see, in his chest. The animal faces are molded in, which is very impressive. You know, none of it's picked out in paint, unfortunately, but all the detail is there, and that is quite impressive for something that small. So, very cool little minifig, if you want to put this on your shelf. Hey, it's a nice little bonus, if you care for stuff like that. So, moving on to the flashlight itself. We're getting close here, so you can see the details. Um, now, while the Jawagers can only use the powers of one animal, where the four of them can use the powers of one animal, Duo Eagle can use the powers of two animals. He can use Eagle and Gorilla. Duo the World can use the powers of three animals. The Rhino, the Wolf, and the Crocodile. And on the main portion of the flashlight, it has the three different animal heads right here. So right up top, we have the Rhino head, which is done in a nice gunmetal gray. And you have some gold there for the horn. Nicely detailed. And we turn it around, and here we have the Wolf head, which is done in a silver-ish plastic. Not painted, it's just cast in that plastic. But still has some nice detail to it. And then we turn it around again, and here we have the crocodile head, which is done in a very nice gold. There you have that. And you have the lens up front, which we'll get some lights out of, and also some images, which is pretty cool, and we'll get to that once we get to the uh, electronic features. And of course, this being a Juodger toy, there's a cube right there, and you can rotate it. And you have stickers for all of the animals that uh, he can access the powers of. You have the rhino. You have the wolf, then you have the symbol for all three, which is a very cool symbol. And you have the crocodile right there. Now coming down to handle, you have some nice red paint right there, and the handle itself just has that nice uh, kind of blocky, minecrafty detail to it. Right there, come to the back, you have the button with some detailing on it, and this is what we will use to activate the noises. And under here, we have our on-off switch. Battery compartment takes two AAAs and the speaker right there. And uh, yeah, there you go. So, I guess there's nothing left to do but uh, get down to the noises that this thing makes. So, you have your on off switch right here, turn it on, and you get. And you can see the image, like whatever, whatever uh, form 
is at the top of the flashlight and this this is basically the top of the flashlight uh, basically how this works is whatever form you want to use if you notice every sticker has this red section right here you want to line up this red section with this red section and that's how you activate that particular noise so right now crocodile is up front and you will actually see the crocodile face in the lens itself now for the sake of you being able to see what's going on in here properly I'm going to cut off the overhead lights so clap off Okay, so let's do that again. We're just gonna cut this off and kind of back on. And you get. There you go, now you can see things a bit better. So um, yeah, I think that's really, really cool. Um, now this light isn't bright enough to really project the image onto a surface, but um, it, it's still a cool gimmick nonetheless. Um, one thing I do wanna comment on, um, size-wise, I mean, this is actually a good size. This is pretty much the size of a standard flashlight so size wise no complaints <laughs> i think that uh, that works pretty well um so now without further ado uh we'll get down to transforming now of course you can spin the uh, cube when it's on you know just get that noise that's pretty much it and you can actually see the uh the picture rotates Crack it back. all three and the wolf right there but let's get down to transformation and we'll start off with the rhino so to begin the transformation sequence you just want to push the button once so push it you get this mellow standby music uh, 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 uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you let it go for too long, it just stops. So we'll push that button again and start it over. And now we will bring the rhino to the top. And when you're ready to go, just push the button again. in the rhino form so now we will move on to crocodile so push the button again and now bring the crocodile to the top and push the button again crocodile form and now we will move on to wolf so push again and bring the wolf to the top and push the button form now and of course um, he can use the powers of all three animals at the same time so we'll push the button again and now you want to bring this symbol up to the top and push the button there you go so there you have that all the uh, transformations so now we will move on to summoning our cube animals so to do that you want to push this button twice now and we'll start off with the rhino so we'll bring the rhino to the top and push the button again There you have Cube Rhinos! They add an S at the end for some reason. <laughs> so there you have Cube Rhino. And then we'll move on to Cube Crocodile, so push it twice. Bring the crocodile to the top. 
push the button again. Cue crocodile. And we have that. And move on to cube wolf. So again, push it twice. And bring the wolf to the top. Push it again. There you go. And now we can summon all three. So push the button twice again. And bring this to the top. Sometimes it doesn't register to spin for some reason. There we go. And there you go. We have summoned all of our cube animals. And now it is time to move on to our combinations. So, to uh, do that, we're going to push the back button three times. So, this symbol right here is the symbol for the combination. So, this is what you want to end on. So, push the button three times. And again, you want to bring this back up to the top. And there you have the combination noise for Poseidon, and that is Joe the World's personal mech right there. Now there is another combination you can do, so we'll hit the button three times again. There you go. It just runs through all the animals. Then bring this back up to the top again. And there you have the combination noise for Wild Atosai King. Uh, combination we haven't seen yet as of this recording, but there you go. You heard the noise for it already. <laughs> so <laughs> there you have that. Now, the last thing you can do with this toy is something called the Duo Cube Search. And, um,. My assumption is, is that this is some kind of game or something, like a, like a guessing game. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is the flashlight will play a random animal noise, and I'm assuming you guess what the noise is, and you push the button on the back to get the answer. That's just my guess. I'm not sure. I can't read the instructions. But that's my guess anyway. <laughs> so to start that, you just hold down the back button. Then it'll start. I'll just play a random noise. That's the eagle. Yay! Uh, shark. Yay! That's the gorilla. Yay! Elephant. Elephant. Yay! <laughs> Not sure. Lion? And you get that phrase there, and it's done. <laughs> and there you go. Now, what I put down there is the literal translation 
that I got from that phrase right there. I'm sure there's a way to re to uh, reword that so it actually makes sense. That's the literal translation of that. I know it doesn't seem like it makes much sense, but like I said, the way Japanese translates into English, sometimes things kind of get jumbled up, so in English the sentence doesn't make sense, but again, that's the best translation I can get. I'm sure there is one that makes a lot more sense, but that's what I could find, so there you go. But as far as that goes, um, there you go. There you have everything that Jewel the Light does. Let me turn the lights back on, so clap on! All right, so there you have uh, Joe the Light. I like this thing. <laughs> this thing is definitely more fun than it probably should be, much like the Juo Changer. <laughs> but I do quite like it. It's a, it's a flashlight. He transforms with a flashlight. I mean, come on. <laughs> that alone just sells it for me. <laughs> he transforms with a flashlight. But yeah, neat toy. You get a lot of noises out of it. Um, I like it. I, I do very much like it. And of course, little little minifig that is included. So yeah, I dig it. Like I said, it's it's, it's more fun than it should be. <laughs> but hey, I'm probably just very, very easily amused by this dumb stuff. But you know, I do quite enjoy it. Now I picked this up from CS Toys. Um, and there are of course many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, uh, AmiAmi, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. Um, you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com. They are carrying some Juodra items, as well as other Super Sentai and Power Ranger toys. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so check that out. And you can also check out my Juodra playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the the description below and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Juodger DX Duo the Light and this is MGO saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face